Electrifying transportation and moving toward more sustainable mobility are critical to reducing greenhouse gas emissions and protecting the world. And in the not-too-distant future, electric automobiles will replace internal combustion engine cars. So, in order to adapt this new reality, researchers will need to work on improving the electric batteries that powers these cars. As the experts have pointed out, electric vehicles are universally acknowledged as the future transportation, but there are still questions that require answering. When will electric vehicle sales eclipse those of internal combustion vehicles, and what kinds of batteries will provide the best performance? Now, both Toyota and Tesla, two of the most well-known names in the automobile industry, have recently developed their very own battery technology. A lot of people closely monitor Toyota and Tesla to track both companies' progress in the battery technology field, and even though Tesla's L LFP and Toyota Solid State have both been announced, it is still not clear which one will come out on top. Now, the most significant drawback of battery technology is that it deteriorates so quickly. For example, smartphone release in 2020 are still very useful, but the most recent models are significantly more advanced. In addition, just like in a lot of other parts of technology, developments in battery technology are frequently taking place, and they do so at a relatively rapid pace. Tesla Motors is currently leading the charge in the field of electric vehicles, and some people even consider the battery technology the company uses to be revolutionary. In addition, Tesla is making significant headway with either LFP or LiPo. However, why aren't they looking into the technology behind solid-state batteries? LFP versus solid-state First, let's look at the difference between LFP or lithium-ion phosphate and solid-state batteries. The LFP is an innovative advancement in the field of battery science. It is not only safe but also very sturdy despite its low weight. In fact, a writer from a car news site owns a 2008 Toyota Prius that uses LFP battery technology. However, one of the drawbacks using LFP is that it has a lower energy density compared to alternatives that use a solid state. Now, that is unfortunate particularly for Tesla which might be thinking about switching to LFP to remove the possibility of fires breaking out in the event of an accident. Therefore, would batteries with lower energy density result in a lower range? Well, probably. In terms of solid state, it possesses an excellent energy density, charges quickly, and is relatively lightweight. In addition, it can store a lot of energy. This technology is not known to have any security flaws, and it achieves the same safety level as LFP. Implementing technology based on solid state is unquestionably something to be proud of. However, it is terrible that there is no potential for commercial gain. Now, even though the complexity of recreating this technology presents a significant challenge, it is by no means the only obstacle in the way. Solid state materials, on the other hand, are dense and rigid. As a result, are prone to thermal cracking because of their susceptibility to repeated cycling. A solid state battery has a shorter lifespan than a conventional battery. On the other hand, this is not always disadvantage. If a car is manufactured with a range of 250 miles on a single charge and the battery pack can be recycled 1,000 times, then the vehicle will have a lifetime of use equivalent to 250,000 miles. Toyota is acutely conscious of the allure that it exudes. Toyota has stated that its first electric vehicle will have a range of 250 miles per charge, and it will be based on the BZ4X concept that will be introduced in the near future. That is truly incredible, but what's more interesting is the battery technology they intend to use in their product. Now, before we continue, I'd like to thank you for getting this far and if you want to know more then make sure to stick till the end. Next Power offers to swap your hybrid car's battery with LFP battery. Dr. Prius, a well-known software and hardware inventor, is responsible for launching yet another project called Next Power. These lithium-ion phosphate batteries were developed as a superior replacement for those offered by the dealer or for reconditioned batteries sold by businesses that didn't know how to properly recondition batteries. LifePo systems are comparable in terms of efficiency, with a rating of 6.5 AH, but they offer superior value as a result of these exceptional qualities of lithium. Your electric vehicle will have a longer lifespan, accelerate more predictably, and use significantly less gasoline if its energy density can be increased by 2.6 times. The ultimate objective of Next Power is to foster a culture in which the recycling and reuse of products is the norm rather than the exception. Now, the production numbers as the Next Power factory in Asia have skyrocketed, suggesting a growing demand for the company's products. The worldwide shortage of chips had a significant impact on our figures, but it is anticipated that production will increase as the drought begins to improve. Next Power struck a chord with many people who drive Toyota hybrids, and these individuals are crazy about their hybrid cars but despise that they must regularly change the batteries. Cost and Speed of Next Power Battery 
Now, the expense of having a battery for a Toyota Prius installed by a dealer may exceed $3,000. On the other hand, the price of installing batteries in some Toyota's other hybrid vehicles can be significantly higher. Next Power offers completely innovative and brand new replacement units which can be easily installed by simply bolting into the vehicle's pre-existing battery chassis. And the cost to the owner of this brand new automobile will be a fraction of what it would have been otherwise. In addition, individuals are becoming increasingly motivated to keep their cars for as long as they can and to make any necessary repairs. Next Power batteries are superior to reconditioned batteries because they are constructed from brand new components and use lithium technology that has been tried and tested. And the choice is not difficult to make when you consider how little it would cost to add another 15 years to the lifespan of your Prius. Additionally, because the payback period is shorter and the miles per gallon is higher, you may recoup your initial investment more expediently. In conclusion, the LFP technology is unquestionably superior to the alternatives available. Although it takes longer to charge, it is more durable and can withstand extremely high temperatures. On the other hand, some believe that technology based on solid state is completely unattainable and will never be developed. However, professionals in the field think that it will eventually take place. And if Elon Musk is correct and we can soon travel to Mars, there's no question that a solid state can be made to function. Within the next five years, we will discover which technological investments are generally at the forefront. In the meantime, let's keep our finger crossed that Toyota next electric vehicle will have a range more than 250 miles. So, what do you think of these two types of batteries from Tesla and Toyota? Which of them do you think will dominate the EV market soon? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And while you're at it, make sure to smash the like and subscribe button as well. Now, if you want to know more about these batteries, especially solid-state batteries, then make sure to click and watch this video right here and enjoy! And that's the end of this video guys, see you next time!